look right here, obviously. Um, I wanted to play with some of the new products I got and I showed them in my last video which was a haul so if you want to check that out then I will leave the link down below for you. But yeah, I did this look right here. It's like a cobalt blue kind of smoky eye with warm tones in there as well. And I really really love how it turned out. And yeah. I also used a new lipstick too, so stay tuned for that also. But yeah, oh also, I don't know if you can tell, but I dyed my hair. And it's just, it's blonder than it was before. It's more of like a white blonde than a gold blonde. And she rooted it too so that I wouldn't have to go get it touched up like every week. <laughs> Not really, but like every month or so. Yeah, but anyways, if you want to see how I got this makeup look right here, then just keep on watching. Bye. So I already have my foundation on and I use MAC Painterly Paint Pot as a base for my eyeshadow and I just set that with a skin colored eyeshadow real quick just to set the base and everything and then I'm taking Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek and I'm just blending that right into the crease and up onto the lid just to act as a base to smooth all the other eyeshadows out for blending later. And now I'm taking Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek and I am just adding this into my crease as well just like we did with the peach smoothie color and I'm focusing it a little bit more in the crease but this is also just going to act to help blend out the other eyeshadows, the darker ones that we will be putting on a little bit later. And now I'm taking Sienna by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just going to be focusing this in the outer and inner corners of my eye and also through the crease. And this will act kind of as a halo shaped eyeshadow look, not so much a winged out look. And I will be going back in with the same blending brush we used earlier just to blend out the Sienna color a little bit. And here's where I am blending out that color just with the brush that we used earlier. And now I'm going in with Red Earth by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to be doing the same thing I did with the Sienna color, but I'm just going to be focusing it more precisely into the crease and the outer and inner corner than I did before. And just like we did with the last color, we will be going back in with that blending brush and blending out the colors a little bit just so that there are no harsh lines. So here I'm just blending out those colors. And now I'm taking Star Cobalt by Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is just this really beautiful cobalt, sparkly, shimmery color. And I'm just going to be packing this on the eyelid with a flat brush so that there's more pigmentation. You want it to be more of a dense brush so that you can get majority of the pigment onto your eyelid. and not so much fallout or anything like that so yeah I'm just packing this onto the eyelid and you will have to do this a few times to get the color that you want and then I'm just going back in with that red earth color and we'll just be blending out that star cobalt color a little bit just so that there's not a line in between the two colors and so that they kind of blend into each other a little bit but sorry about the lighting I was in natural lighting so it kind of started changing a little bit but I hope it doesn't bother you too much. Kind of goes back to normal a little bit. And now I'm taking Sienna and I'm just going to be blending those colors out even more just so that everything blends together seamlessly and doesn't look like there's any separation between the colors and they kind of just blend into each other really nicely. So. Now I'm going back in with the Star Cobalt color and just packing that back onto the lid again because we did lose a little bit through the blending and everything. So I'm just packing that on there and adding a little bit more color to the lid. And now that we finished the top part of the eyeshadow, we're going to be adding some concealer underneath the eyes to prepare for the 
lower lash line that we'll be doing a little bit later and also to highlight. So I'm taking my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and I'm just adding that underneath the eyes on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and also on my chin. And then of course we're just going to be blending that out with a brush. And this one is by Real, Tex Real Techniques. I always say that wrong. I always want to say techniques, but Real Techniques. And yeah, I'm just blending that out. And then we will be setting that. So I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm just going to be setting all the places that we put that concealer. So underneath my eyes, forehead, nose, chin, cupid's bow. And this will just prevent any creasing. And then I'm going in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm just going to be setting the rest of my face where I put my foundation. And now for the lower lash line, I'm going to be taking the Star Cobalt color and just packing a little bit of that in the middle portion of my lower lash line. And then we'll be blending that out with Sienna underneath and also up and around the outer corner and that'll just help round out that eyeshadow look a little bit so that it's not too winged out or anything like that. And that'll just help kind of blend the lower lash line up into the upper lid so that there's no like separation between them and it looks like they go together because that's kind of the point but now I'm just taking a black eyeliner and I'm adding a little bit of liner to my top lashes I'm not winging it out or anything like that because this is just to prevent any separation from the false lashes that we'll be putting on and then I'm just adding a little bit of mascara to the base of my lashes to help blend them in with the falsies that we'll be putting on and I'm just going to be taking the Natural Lashes by Ardell and popping those on real quick. And I'm back! There's the finished eye look. And now we're taking the Hula Bronzer by Benefit and I'm just bronzing up my face a tiny bit. I'm not adding a harsh contour or anything like that because the eyes are already so dramatic that I didn't want to really make anything else too dramatic. And then I'm going in with my Champagne Pop Highlighter that Jaclyn Hill collaborated with Becca with. And I'm just adding that to the tops of my cheekbones, a little bit on my temples, and then I'll be popping some just above my eyebrows, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. I'm just taking this blush by Makeup Geek called Romance and I'm just going to be putting this on my cheeks obviously because that's where blush goes and I really like this color it's pretty natural it just gives you a natural looking flush of color to your face and I really like it and it has a little bit of sparkle with it so it kind of goes good with the highlight and then I'll be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in Pure Hollywood which is a new lipstick of mine, as well as all the Anastasia eyeshadows that I used in this look too, so that's exciting. But yeah, I'm just going to be putting this lipstick on my lips because that's what you do with lipstick, and yeah, that's about it. And lastly, I'm just going to be adding a little bit more of that Champagne Pop highlight to my Cupid's bow because it kind of disappeared a little bit and just adding a little bit more on there made my lips look a little bit more full and pouty so I really liked that and then that is it that is all for the makeup so here is the finished look for you guys I really really love how it turned out actually I'm super excited about it I love blue blue is my favorite color so I'm glad I got this new color for my lid that I used and 
yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up for me, and I would love it if you subscribed if you haven't already, so that you can see more videos to come. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.